the Department of Personnel and Training, DUPT, successfully implemented the Honorable Prime Minister's vision for induction training program for cutting-edge level government functionaries. To take this a step further, DUPT with the guidance of Secretary, P, has come up with the initiative of blended training program called, Comprehensive Online Modified Modules for Induction Training, COMMIT. This video is only a part of COMMIT program conducted by the Department of Personnel and Training, DUPT, for government employees. Some of the course material I felt is so important and informative that I thought I must share this with you and sharing this only meant for education and knowledge purpose. There is no any other intention lies behind sharing it. I would have shared every unit of the modules as they were so informative, knowledge oriented and interesting but I cannot. Because these course materials are designed to train government staff and I am not authorized to do it. Whatever few videos I published is only for the sake of knowledge and its importance. At the end, I would like to say that any person working under DUPT or directly involved and own the COMMIT program find it not suitable may contact me with your details and I shall remove it immediately. Thanks for watching. Consider the given scenario. Let us understand the emotions the two persons go through in the situation. Madam, you just jumped a red signal and almost caused an accident. Please show me your license. Officer, I am in a great hurry. I have to reach the airport and am very late. I am sorry I jumped the signal and almost ran over you. Please let me go. I am already very late. Madam, I don't care that you are late for your flight. You just jumped a red signal. Give me your license so that I can issue the chalan. You want to chalan me for what? I already told you that I am in a great hurry. You don't know who I am. I will get you transferred to Jumritalaya. Don't threaten me. Wait here till I issue the chalan. I will speak with you later. Let me have a cup of tea first. The traffic policeman is tired at end of day, waiting eagerly to go home. The driver is under stress to reach the airport in time to catch her flight. However, the emotions displayed by traffic policemen are low energy and politeness changing to rigidity and anger. The emotions displayed by the driver are desperation and pleading changing to anger. If the policeman does not understand the emotional state of the car driver and continues to delay the resolution, the situation will only get worse. It may become more difficult for both the actors to resolve the matter, the driver may just drive away and be accused of escaping a chalan. She may even get violent and physical with the policeman. It is important for the policeman to understand his own emotions and the driver's emotions and manage to control the emotions of both. This may lead to a successful resolution of the situation. Welcome to the unit on Understanding Emotional Intelligence. In this unit, you will learn about understanding your own emotions and the emotions of others. By the end of this unit, you will be able to explain emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is our awareness of an effective response to our emotions as tools or vehicles for achieving our goals and living fulfilling lives. To know the four emotional competencies, drag and drop each jigsaw piece in its correct location to make up the brain. Self-awareness is one of the emotional competencies. It is the capacity for understanding one's emotions, strengths, weaknesses and self-confidence. Self-management is another emotional competency. It is the capacity for efficiently managing one's motives and regulating one's behavior. Self-control, adaptability, achievement, orientation and initiative. Social awareness is also an emotional competency. It is the capacity for understanding what others are saying, 
and feeling and why they feel and act as they do. Social skills constitute an important emotional competency. They are the capacity for acting in such a way that one is able to get the desired results from others and reach personal goals, manage conflicts and so on. Let us next understand the benefits of developing emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence improves your ability to manage situations. In the example of the traffic policeman, it may help him handle more difficult situations. Emotional intelligence can help you work better in a team. Suppose the traffic policeman has to collaborate with other policemen handling traffic at other signals. For smooth flow of traffic, he must be able to work well with them. Emotional intelligence assists in motivating other persons to do what is required. If the policeman had told the driver, I understand your hurry, madam, give me your license and I will quickly issue a chalan. You may pay the fine later once you are back in town. With such an approach, the policeman could have diffused the situation. Better quality decisions can be made with a better balance between head and heart. EI helps you make better decisions. This is true for all other roles in the government too. When resolving a property dispute between two brothers, a patwari can enforce his decisions based on records and an emotional understanding of the situation. An Anganwadi worker may be able to handle negative pressures from the mother of a pregnant woman who prescribes ancient and unscientific methods. She can ensure that the woman gets a balanced diet if she is perceptive of the emotions of both women. A PWD engineer may be able to handle a crowd of angry villagers on a bridge being washed away in heavy floods if he understands the emotions of the assembled persons. Next, let us understand how to develop emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence can be enhanced through attention and development. Some steps to improve EI competencies are self-awareness, self-management, being in motivated state, developing social competence and developing social skills. Let us know about each of these starting with self-awareness. Self-awareness is all about knowing one's internal states, preferences, resources, limitations and strengths and recognizing their impact on performance and relationships. Self-awareness includes emotional awareness, accurate self-assessment and self-confidence. Click each tab to know more. Recognize your own emotions and their effects on self and others. Map and become familiar with your own strengths and limits. Build a strong sense of your own self-worth and capabilities. Self-management is all about managing one's internal states, positive and negative responses, impulses, resources and being able to adapt and be flexible. Self-management includes self-control, trustworthiness, conscientiousness, adaptability and innovation. Click each tab to know more. Work towards keeping disruptive emotions and impulses in check. Maintain standards of honesty and integrity. Take responsibility for personal performance. Be flexible in handling change. Become comfortable with novel ideas, approaches and new information.
Being in a motivated state helps you work on emotional tendencies that guide you and facilitate you to achieve one or more of the given attitudes. They are achievement drive, commitment, initiative and optimism. Click each tab to know more. Strive to improve or meet a standard of excellence that is acknowledged or self-imposed. Align with the goals of your group or organization. Be ready to act on opportunities. Show persistence in pursuing goals despite obstacles and setbacks. Developing social competence involves understanding how you handle relationships. Navigate effectively and network proactively with co-workers and other stakeholders in the environment in which you operate. To develop social competence, you should show empathy, understand others, develop others, demonstrate service orientation, leverage diversity and have political awareness. Click each tab to know more. Demonstrate an awareness of others' feelings, needs and concerns. Sense others' feelings and perspectives and take an active interest in their concerns. Sense others' development needs and bolster their abilities. Anticipate, recognize and meet citizens' needs. Cultivate opportunities through different kinds of people. Read a group's emotional currents and power relationships. Developing social skills help you become adept at inducing desirable responses in others through one or more of the given items. They are influence, communication, conflict management, leadership, building bonds, collaboration and cooperation and team capabilities. Click each tab to know more. Use effective tactics for persuasion. Listen attentively and send convincing messages. Negotiate and resolve disagreements. Initiate or manage change. Nurture important relationships. Work with others toward shared goals. Create group synergy in pursuing collective goals. The four emotional competencies are self-awareness, self-management, social awareness and social skills. Steps for improving AI competencies are self-awareness, self-management, being in motivated state, developing social competence and developing social skills.